my name is Abhishek Jain and a topic I choose for today's video is how we can import a CSV data into the Postgres DB. So in my previous video I have created a CSV file that actually contains our data for, for the resource consu consumption of all the, all the running containers. So let's quickly see what I have done to create that CSV file but in a real time you can be having the CSV file uh, for for from a, from any kind of data and you want to just put into the postgres db so what you can do is so let me quickly show you the csv file which i have created in the previous video that is how it looks like right then we have wrote a small shell script as well so if you are really interested you can watch my that video and i will be putting that uh, the link of that video into the description below so we have the first field is a timestamp then we have a container id then we have a container name and then we have a cpu percentage right so we have these four columns and in real time you can have any number of csv columns right so that completely depends and you can use the same logic which we are going to use today to just write a shell script so basically my idea is to just write a small shell script through which we can actually uh, import the CSV data into the Postgres DB. So the very first thing which we're gonna see is we first need to create a table that would be having the four columns, right? So let me just open, let's say import CSV postgres.sh. Okay, so, so the very first thing we have to put the shebang next thing which we gonna do is we are going to use a psql which is actually a client utility which actually help us to interact with the postgres related db instances and the parameter which it's required if you really want to create a shell script or you want to create a logic so the very first thing you have to do is you have to provide the host on which your look postgres is installed and running so it is running on the same machine to, on which I'm just demoing that so it is localhost and by default this is postgres db runs on 4 5432 but my instance is 5433 because 5432 is being utilized by the other postgres instance then we have to provide our database name and my database name is docker user then I have a user with same name let's say docker user and you can just give your name and then we have to give a command so that command we have to give minus option c option then followed by double quotes right so now we have to create a table right with four columns so create table if not exist okay so this is just a syntax okay now we have to give the column for giving a column name we have so first one we have so it's a time stamp right so let me just give logging time and I'm just gonna define this as a time stamp this is the data type in postgres then we have a container id so let me just give a container id as its name and this is let's say text okay so it can have numeric value and it can have so it's kind of alphanumeric then we have a container name and I'm just gonna define this as a text next field was cpu percentage and you can give any name whatever you want but that should be read easily readable and understandable so i'm just giving a cpu percent it means it's just giving a cpu utilization because that is what my csv file has and this i'm just going to define as a numeric for now so that's it the we have port host db name and the user the only thing which is pending is provide a password so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set a PG password which is an environmental variable for the Postgres DB and I'm just will I'll just be passing this through the command line so let's say the very first parameter I want to define I mean see it's just you know the the way I'm just passing password you can design the whatever the standard way you your company is utilizing or your team is utilizing you can just code in the same way so right now so we will be having this query and we can just run this query so before running this query we have to just make it executable okay now we should be fine and we have to pass the password and for demoing this i just created a demo peep so a demo db and the password for that is a password itself 
and so let me just run it so I just made some mistake create table if not exist I hope I should know what mistakes I have made I have not given any name let me just insert it and create table and the name whatever the name we want to give let's say we want to give name create table if not exist we can give let's say CSV no Create table. Uh, now we have to just log into the machine, and there are many ways you can just create a quick, quick class for this. You can do that, but let me type it. Oh, so I have to give the port number here. So let's go by port three two. We should be fine now. So let me just quickly see if I'm making a mistake. I should not be making a mistake. Oh, it's by port three two. Correct. But server side, I just copied because in the last command I just give the wrong. This time we are fine. So let's see. And I just put tt slash tt just to list down the table name. So this is the table which we had created, Docker resource. So if I just put table, then it will give us the number of records. So there is no record. We can use the select star star as well. So come out from this. I'm just putting this and I just clear it out. So the next thing which we gonna see is see the another command for now what you can do is you can keep this psql here or you can just comment that out as well but what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna copy and paste the same command because okay and i'm just gonna write this and i'm just gonna delete this so what we gonna do there is a command uh, within a postgres which actually help us to directly import the csv and the command is copy okay and followed by let's say the table which we had created we have to give the table name okay from then we have to within a single code we have to pass where we have that file uh, so let's say the file name is to give a delimiter since we don't have the header so I think delimiter has come up <clears throat> I think we should be fine now so if I just save this and if I want to run this again let's say the password a create table cannot copy from directory ah so I think I just made some mistake let's quickly debug it I don't know whether you got it or not, but I got the error. Uh, here I just made this small mistake. So let me just get into the insert mode. This should be here. I think now we should be fine. Okay, so if I run this again, password, create table, <coughs> copy 60, and if I just exit and if i just run the same command table db ah, so now here it is we have all those 60 records right so that is how we can import the csv data into the postgres db so now you can you have all the commands it's just that now you are left with just parameterizing you know rather than having two psql statement you can just create a function inside the shell and you can just put this until the c part and in double quotes you can just pass the query from the command line